One of the reasons that I'm a Christian and a scientist is that I don't see any discrepancy between being a scientist and being a Christian. Before I was a Christian, I did a chemistry PhD, um, and as a scientist I found it really easy to believe in a creator God um, of some description because I didn't believe that the probability of having the world forming by chance was very high. Um, and therefore, with all of the physical constants that you see in the world, as, as I, I dealt with as a chemist, it just didn't seem rational that this could all happen by chance. Before I became a Christian, one of the things I did struggle with was trying to reconcile in my own mind the aspect of a creator God sending his son to this earth in the form of a man and that that man Jesus dying on a cross um, so that it meant all of our sins were forgiven. Um, and I think what I had to then do was to come back to the Bible. I had to look through the biblical evidence. And as I did that, it became increasingly clear to me that the, the Jesus described in the Old Testament was clearly fulfilled in the Jesus that we saw in the New Testament and the Gospels. And once I'd got to that point, I think the evidence pointed me to, be, to believing that the cross was the way in which God wanted to reconcile us with, um, with him, and it was through the death of his son, which was, which was great news for me. Um, and I think that as I then became a Christian, when I look at God's creation, whether at a quantum level or at a big universe level, um, I become more and more amazed by this creator God who actually chose to create this world and chose to actually reconcile us with him through his son.